Howdy folks, hello and welcome again to Lucas Oil Raceway, Indianapolis Raceway Park. My name is John Theodore, streaming live at twitch.tv slash John underscore A underscore Theodore. Recorded version of this broadcast at youtube.com slash John Theodore. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, this is going to be A fixed at Lucas Oil. It's an 80 lap race. Qualifying's getting set to get going. I'm still not super quick here. Uh, I got a pretty stout field. Drew Fainosh in here is really good. So is Michael Gonzalez. Got a whole bunch of um, stuff. Is that Tubbsy? JJ Tubbs is in here. Nice. I think that's Tubbsy. So here we go. Dactyl saying hello to YouTube. All right, we're going to get out and qualify here. Um, like I said, I'm not running world-class times right now in qualifying. But something in the 21... Low 21 nines, high 21 eights should get us a decent starting green, position. Green. Try that again. <laughs> yeah, low number fracture chain, it's just that's putting you know i racing expects you to finish there that's that's your i rating versus everyone else's so i look at low number as well that's a opportunity in a top Great five or a win in theory bad turn one and two so i'm not going to be quick here About a tenth off of what I was running in practice. Got under 22, so that's not terrible. Oh, I, I disagree, Fracture. The, those those numbers matter. If you look at it, numbers matter in all kinds of ways. One, your I rating is a reflection of how well you've been racing. There's just no getting around that. Um, two, on track, guys give a lot more respect to the top five numbers than they do to the lower five. The guys out if you if you're if you're in a you know if you're catching a guy and you're in the number one car or the number three car and they're in the twenty, they'll usually give you a little more space. They assume that you're faster. Uh, the reverse is not true. <laughs> So, everyone says the numbers don't matter. They totally matter, in my opinion. Um, they matter more than people give them credit for. They're not everything, but they definitely matter. Um, you know, we got all kinds of stuff. Look at JJ Tubb throwing down a lap there, qualifying right behind me. That ain't bad. Bunch of folks deciding not to qualify so far. We'll take a look at our qualifying lap here. It wasn't great. No, that happens. I mean, the, 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 like I said, you know, the, if you're in a top five number and you're behind a guy in a 20s number, those guys don't tend to respect you know, you, you, the guys who have the numbers one through five have put in a lot of work to earn that I rating. They're not going to show respect to someone who doesn't have an I rating that's close to them. They they kind of view that as a back marker car ultimately, even subconsciously. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm not saying it's right. That's just the perception. If you've if you've worked and ground out to get your I rating up to like a 4500 and you're being held up by a guy with a 2,000 I rating, you're not going to have a ton of patience with him. Um, you know, and, and, and the same for me. You know, if, I'm, if I've got a, a number 25 and on my car and a car with a number 3 on the door and 2,000 more I rating comes up behind me, I'm usually going to let him go because I expect to get moved if I race him tooth and nail and try to hold him up.
Yeah, so, so the thing with that, Shepard, that's going to self-correct pretty quickly. If you keep running top five in splits like that, your I rating isn't going to stay 1,300 for long. You're going to be stacking on significant points and working your way up pretty quickly if you're consistently running top five in splits that have 5K guys in them. It, it, it's a, it, that's why I think the system works well, is that it self-corrects pretty quickly. 22 car has an 894. Dang. That's crazy. And and he's running 23s. <laughs> now, why the 7's running 23s, I have no idea. Good luck, guys. Got a fourth place qualifying spot. That's a good deal. Good luck, everybody. I am streaming live. Let's have a good one. Hey, Byram, how's it going? Holy cow, John. Finally, I am able to be on a stream with you. It's going to be an honor to race there, buddy. 10-4, brother. Good luck to you. Also, a uh, shout-out to JJ Tub, uh, Tales of Tubsy on Twitch. Definitely check his channel out as well. Oh, he gave me three hearts. It's so sweet. It's a little hearts. <sighs> Warren betting top five all. Tubsy, is this the uh, first time we've actually raced each other on track? I think this is the first time me and you have ever been in a server together. And I'm really scared at how close our lap times are and how little practice I've done. <laughs> Yeah, man. That's awesome. Awesome to be on the same track with you. Looking forward to a good race. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I, 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 today is my first day that I've been on this track. I was doing nothing but homestead up until last night's champ race, so having some fun today. <laughs> uh, he's not Aussie, I don't think. He's East British. It's a great combo. It'll have fun. UK. Really good racing. I think. Tubsy, you did correct me on this. You're 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 UK guy, right? Not uh not Australian. Correct. Yeah. Oh yeah, it said it said he was UK and Ireland on the uh, thing too. Good line up on the outside. Pit road is closed. Give me lining up behind the six. All right. This will be an interesting one. Eighty laps, cautions and effects. I think we should be able to make it all the way through this in time to do another uh, National Series race. If we get a bunch of cautions, I'll make sure to pre-register for it, though. Byron bet and finish. Probably a safe bet. I don't know. I qualified top five. I like to think I'd be able to hang on to it. Should be a good race. So Antonio in the 14th starting first. Josh Hurley in the 6th starting second. Drifay and I are starting third in the number one. Anyone else is pitting behind me. So, one, six, and 14 are in front. I had one go with only one caution the other night. It could be. It, yeah, this is single split, though. I think Caution Fest is a likely prediction. 10 4, Byron, man. Good to have you back. It's nice having a couple days off so I can stream in a time slot that's a little bit more friendly to my European audience. And it's still friendly to my U.S. audience because you folks can watch me while you're uh, at work. So, works well. So I've sealed off fourth place for right now. That's a good start to the race. Try to run clean, take care of my tires early. 24.943. Really letting it slide out to the wall. You guys know I love a short track. So this is... This is my happy place right now. 22.316. Drew getting a little impatient with the six. Maybe. <laughs> Gnawing on that rear bumper. Okay. 
Taking a peek to the inside. Can he make it stick? Get those tires hooked up? No. He does not make it stick. He's going to try again, though. Three, one, six. Caution. Uh, caution. Sorry, caution, caution. Radio check to the pit crew. Feels too early one, to pit. Two, one, two. Pit road is closed. I think I'm going to stay out here. If everyone pits, I'll be in trouble, but... <laughs> yeah, no, it's a very flat oval, Byram. Um, it actually has progressive banking, so right down here is banked lower than it is here. You can see that there's a little transition there, and then there's another transition up here by the wall. Open, open. Yeah, everyone's staying out. Folks dropping behind us. Okay. Staying out seemed to be the right call that early in the race. You'd be surprised, Byram. <laughs> it's like they say in Days of Thunder. These cars are twice as heavy and the tires are half as wide. <laughs> This stat, that's why I, that's why I've always loved stock cars and why I hate a little bit what they're changing them to for next year. I love that stock cars, NASCAR style cars, they're all wrong. It, it, it's like it, it's just wrong. You've got the cars are too heavy, the, the 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 engines are too powerful, the grip is too low, the tires are too thin. All of it is just wrong. And what that creates is it creates a real challenge for the drivers that I really enjoy. That's, that's, it's, it's, it, it's, you know, if, if you make the cars too perfect and too easy to drive, I, I just feel like you're not showcasing the talent of the drivers. But if you give the drivers something that's truly difficult to drive, it's very entertaining watching them wrestle with that challenge. That's what I like. So we are sitting fourth still, completing lap seven now. We're going to get the restart on lap eight. There will be uh, 72 laps to go. Uh, so slide jobs are the, the way you make passes here generally, Byron. What you want to do is you try to get a good run on corner exit. So, you know, similar, get alongside the guy. Outside and then really send it in and so that you can try to clear them and slide up in front. That's one way to do it. The other one is to try to just hold as much grip and be right next to the guy on the outside line and try to get a straight shot off the corner. Very tough to do, though. Passing's very difficult. Get a little deep right there, buddy. <laughs> I'm not surprised, Shepard. No, this is, this is a challenge, man. This car is tough at this track. So, you know, lower I rating guys, I'm not surprised that they're having issues with it. It's not easy for me. It's not easy for the other guys who are really, you know, the higher I rating guys. So I'm not surprised that the lower sprints are struggling with it. Oh, look at the six. Pro move there on the restart, held the outside, got to the outside of the 14. 14's hung out. One's going to go by him. I'm going to try to fill that hole. Not quite able to do it. Let's see if we can cross back inside. Yeah, just wasn't able to. Dang it. Missed my shot at getting the third spot. We'll go back to saving tires. Hey, thanks for the follow, King Bronco, and I uh, missed the other one, but thank you both for the follows. Really appreciate that. Welcome to the family. Another uh, caution. caution. Sorry, caution, caution. Jeez. I don't know where your mic is, but we do have a little bit of trouble hearing you under green flag conditions, so if you could push that back a little bit, would be awesome. I thought awesome. being 30 for the uh, zero, so I think it was net card, but I didn't mean to get into you if I did. 
I didn't even notice it. <laughs> I'm still not sure if I should hit Baja Panty. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the family. It's the first time I've spun out on my own in months. These things are hard to get power down. Okay, road is open. You just have to watch out for that bottom scene. It's not so bad as long as you're not on that bottom scene. I think I'm going to pit here, actually. No, is that what it might is? not I be the right call, but... I, was down low, and I, tried to power I want some, I want some extra grip. Room. Yeah, that bottom scene, or that whole bottom lane, so is like sliding. that. But if you just put your, even just your left front on that bottom scene, Five, it really wants the yanks four, to be around. Three, two, one. Two, four, three, Stop on the side. Here we go, let's get four tires, get back out there. No Tubsy came with me. Top seven, I guess, stayed out. Go back up, go back up. It's tough. It's anything but boring. Line up behind Tire the check, 98s and 99s. So not a ton of wear on them. A couple extra percent, though, can sometimes make a difference. Especially new tires versus old. Um, looking at the temperatures, they weren't overheated either. Mm. Yeah, rights only is definitely in play, I would say. That cost us four spots to get uh, new tires. <laughs> right, Baja Panty, yeah, man. That's the other thing I like about NASCAR. They don't let them just, you know, like, do everything technically possible to make the, it faster. They, they, they put some restraints in there on technology to keep the human element in play. That's racing, Byram. You, you have to drive the track first, and then once you've mastered driving the track, then you can focus on driving against other, uh, you know, beating the other guys. That's what racing is all about. You, you, you got to master the any any form of racing. You have to master the track first before you can worry about uh, racing other people. Bit too much human element in Lucas and Canaan. <laughs> Den four Shepherd. That first race I did at, Lu at Lucas and the KN car was a lot of fun though. I enjoyed that. That was a heck of a fight with those guys. One to go. Forty-eight point six two seven. Now, unfortunately, we will be on the outside here. All right, so we got sixty-three laps to go here. Already had two cautions. Be smart. Stay focused. Pace cars off, big man. We're going to do your thing. Green flag. Forty-two point four six four inside. All right. Inside. Let's get that spot Still while they're wrecking in front. Hey. Oh, come on. Check up, Still check there. up, check Locking. up. Got a little contact in that, not much. All right, you tell me about your car, bud. The road is closed. Come in, you may be He's telling us to let the five car by? Is that just because I got clipped? Now it's putting me all the way back behind everyone else? Pit road will be open. No, okay. Come around at 11. Come around at 21. You'll be lining up behind the five. Come around at 16. What a mess. Get behind the gate. Could be trouble for anyone who wanted to pit there. Ah, <sighs> 
three cautions. Alright. Take the time now that I'm under this yellow. Let's see. Withdraw from this one. And get ready so that at the click of a button I can register for the National Series race once it becomes available. Alright. I don't think I got much. It was a 0x. I just scraped it. I'm not worried. It's a short track. I'm really not worried about damage. But, just in case... Hey, uh, Tubsy, can you uh, check my right side damage real quick? We're gonna restart behind the gate. Looks pretty much perfect, to be honest. Thank you much. Yeah, that's what I thought. I got I got a zero X in that uh, incident, so I wasn't sure how much I actually got there. Nah, it doesn't look like it's doing the weird scratch thing. So I think you're fine. It must be like net code or something. Ten four. Thank you. Looking good so far, man. We're right together. Same strategy. I just realized, I just saw you dance the pits and I was like, what, is this what we do? Cool, I'm coming in. <laughs> uh, this is my first one here, I'm not sure, but yeah, it seemed like I was the Pied Piper there when I went to pit road, everyone else kind of followed, so that worked out well enough. Retbo9 won't let me go any faster, Vibe. It's not my fault. But now we're in a situation where we have better tires than everyone in front of us. Not by a ton, but might be enough. Mass Papas, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the family. You can kind of see why the cup guys don't race here. I, I'm having the alternate opinion. I am seeing only examples of exactly why the cup guys should race here. <laughs> 100%. One to go. <laughs> so you should be on the inside here, on. which is good. Stop making things easy for cup drivers. Seven. 2019. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'd love to see them race here, but I can see why they don't hey, want Kuda to. Hey, Kuda, doing well? It's not really don't want to, it's that the contract was... Yeah. Well, Gasso, you're going to get your opportunity soon. AI, AI is coming sooner rather than later. Ready? Ready? Green flag. Atta boy, go get him, dude. All right. 40.3. This is how we use those tires. Yeah. Got him. All right. Let's go after these front three. Twenty-two point four seven four. I think the AI is going to be like everything iRacing does. They're going to do it as well as they possibly can. Um, so I expect it to be pretty good. It might not be perfect out of the gate, but they'll keep working on it, iterating it, and they'll make it good. 22.452. Hopefully once they get it good, they add some kind of uh, single player career mode. I think that'd be cool. You know, I mean, once you've got something like that, you want to make the best use out of it that you can. So it looks like no net gain getting tires so far. I'm right back up to where I was in fourth and don't seem to be a ton faster. Well, we weren't expecting to be a ton faster, but I do have a little bit extra speed on these guys. Just keep going, see if we can work that advantage into a position game. But as it is right now, all I've done is cycle right back to where I was. 
By the way, just so you guys know, if you ever see me in VR in the coming weeks, Vibe is the guy that you have to blame. <laughs> I mean, you could also blame Mike and Nathan and stuff like that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put all the blame on Vibe if you, if you guys hate it. If you guys like it, then credit goes to Mike and uh, Nathan. I know I'll love it. That's that's what I'm saying. They've got to blame you for it because it. If, if they don't like the way that it changes the stream. I know. Looks like so much fun. 22.757. So it's quite possible that I'll get talked into adding VR when I go source my parts for my new rig. I gotta stop talking about VR and look at a chat and start pressing the issue here. No pressure out back. I gotta try to put some pressure on these guys in front of me. Drew's just gone. Super smooth. Definitely proving that I didn't need tires. I just need to be better. Tires are maybe a slight advantage, but all that advantage is already burned off. And it's not enough of an advantage for me to get around these guys that I've... Uh, well, the six and the one out qualified me. I don't know if the four did. I think the four started behind me. So pitting there was actually probably the wrong call. Now we were getting enough laps on the tires, though, that pitting if there's another caution might be the right one. I think everyone would come in now. 22.905 Need to try to use these tires up to try to get an advantage in track position so that when we come down pit road we're cycled in front. That was the whole idea. It actually has hurt us. We were in, I think we were in front of the four before pitting, so it's cost us one spot on the track, I believe. Tubsy's hanging with us. In sixth. Used up all the grip on, you know, I used my grip advantage on the restart to make sure that I sealed off this position to get into fourth around the eight. It's a good thing I did because he's basically matching my lap times back there. If I hadn't passed him, then there's no way I would have gotten by him. See what the six is doing with his line. Twenty two point nine two five. 
back up my entry into one a little bit. Try to modify my line a bit, see if I can find something that works a little bit better. Two, three, one. Made actually close back in while I was hunting. This is nice though, now we got some space, everyone's kind of singled out. Can lay down some laps without cautions happening. Give us a chance to see what the car feels like on the long run. And just as I say that, there's a yellow. You look here, it's for me right there. Close. 35 to go. Don't give me a tear off. No fuel. And I want brake bias forward. We are definitely pitting here. Start looking for your sign. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop on the sign. All right. In my box cleanly. Let's see if we can beat that four. Clap Jr. Thank you for the Clap Jr. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the family. Go Mango. Go Mango. Did I get him? I got him. Nice. Awesome stuff. Happy days. Happy days. Tip to Robert Plumley right there. Up to third. Let's see if we can hold it. We got about 30 laps. Ninety four, ninety five on the rights, ninety six, ninety seven on the lefts. Inside of the left front must not be ever touching the track. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, the, the inside of the left front tire is not in contact with the track. One hundred twenty nine degrees nowhere. That's funny. Did the two stay out? Or take two. We'll see how that works out. Dude, did you stay out or take two tires? It's going to be interesting to see how that works. That puts us on the outside, which is actually... I should be thanking the two car for that, because... Being on the outside rather than the inside... Outside of the six is better than inside of the four, in my opinion, for the start. He stayed. Well, that's going to be, um, uh, that'd be interesting. We're going to have 30 laps to go. I'm sure we get another caution here. Let me just, uh... Let the 11 there we go. Up on the outside. Got registered for k &N, so don't have to worry about that. Third gear, second gear. Uh, but you can start working those tires in if you like. Make sure you get them good clean. Alright, big. Hey, cars off. Are you ready? 
It's a bold strategy. Let's see what works out for him. Let's see how it works out for him. 43.693. Oh, the fours lost it. And hit the wall. One's going to the inside of the two. The six to the inside of the two. I don't know if anybody's seen that save I just made, but it's pretty nice. 22.554. Did you save that? Hell yeah, I saved it. I have no clue how. I thought that was Taylor Bonnie himself. Outside. Just giving him a ton of room. Still out there at the door. I feel like with. The tire advantage, outside, I ought to be outside. able to make this pass pretty easy. Not yet. Still outside. That's it, man. Keep it up. Outside. Third place. All right. Let's see if we can do anything with those front two. Try to let the car roll the center a little bit better. I think that's part of the problem is I wasn't letting it roll well. Got to say that, you know, the, the two, if he can hold on to some track position, that's going to end up being a good call for him. I don't know where he was running beforehand, but... He's holding his own on the high side pretty well. It's going to take a while for a whole bunch of people to get past him, and the tires will equalize as the as our tires heat up. So that might end up being a smart. It, you know, it's not a winning move, but it could net him some positions. Made the right call, and then you know you got to execute. He's still in the top five. As we click off the laps, they're going to be 23 to go this time by. Just don't quite have. I'm missing a little bit of something. I'm gonna have to do more practice to on, catch the uh, six and the one on speed. Caution. There's the caution. Right, save yourself, save a I'm gonna fuel. stay out. The road close. Behind the six. Definitely stay out here. There just aren't that many laps left. We only got 13 on the tires. That was fairly easy on him on that run, too. Or at least I thought I was. Open, open. Oh, am I going to be the loneliest man on... Yep, I'm going to be the loneliest man at IRP here. Whoops. Is anyone staying out with me? One guy, maybe. Coming to the outside. He'll probably pit. I, I'm shocked, actually. I thought that more people would stay out. There weren't that many laps on the tires, and we don't have that many to go. Line up behind the torch. Oh well. It is what it is at this point. Man, this fuck, Curtis. Jacob, how's it going? Well, I'm regretting my decisions right about now. <laughs> yep.
can't win if you don't risk it. Uh, there's no way that this is a winning move, I don't think. I may have just blundered away a top three. Out of curiosity, John, uh, I'm actually sniper marksman in your uh, in your chats and all that stuff. Out of curiosity, when are you going to put Fear the Beard as the paint scheme on your car? That's what I really want to see. Uh, it's not a bad idea, actually. You might see that on one of these things at some point. I just want to see John Theodore branded vodka bottles. <laughs> of course you do. All right, 17 to go. So the only way that this really works out for us, yes, I do have little liberal political views, Jerry. 13, I don't know if that was you or me, but that's us. Jacob, thanks for the sub. Twitch Prime, appreciate that, brother. Yeah, 10-4. That is what may... Yep. Freedom of speech is one of the many things that makes America great. Come on, Gerald. One, two, three. One to go. 48.241. Just be smart about who's on your outside there. Justin! Yeah, we need, we need really quick cautions here. Double check your steering wheel, get a good look at your switches. You're ready to go. I bought a map, pace cars off. Go ahead, kick the mask, that's fun. Green, green, green. Good job, man. Alright. He was suppressing our talent. 42.132. We're just going to go down to the inside. Go inside. There goes the six. Knew it wasn't going to be easy to hold. Just got to make sure that we keep the outside. See if we can keep some of these other guys back. 23, point zero one nine. Inside, inside. Go Not meaning to clear. hit the wall at all. <laughs> inside. Inside. Clear inside. Oh, the two just... That's how you do a slide job. Well done. 22.854. So that drops us back to fourth. Hopefully we can hold this and still get a top five. Thirteen to go. 22.643. Zero X race too. Twenty two point eight four four. Yeah, he did. He didn't even try. Thing is, is that it with his tires, he could have made that pass cleanly, just like the two did, but he chose not to. 22.749, 10 laps to go. Attempts have equalized on these things. Let's see if I can work my way back by Jerry. We get back to the bumper of the 11, he gonna get sent. I was able to hold on to it. 22.813. Let's see if he can. Oh, God. 
fellas. We have got a very, very difficult official this week. I'll make sure we're minding our P's and Q's. Well, I mean, it's the same as before. I, I, I can't pit now. I don't think anyone else is pitting. Make sure what that is. We don't get flat later. Thank you. Pit road is closed. Juka 13, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the family. Pit road is open. Everyone's staying out. Yeah, I'm already registered for it, registered for it, Pooty, so I'll be running that same gas lipstick. Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the family. It's not, it's, I don't, right, I don't like endorse or condone nine, intentional seven. wrecking in any way, but you race me, I'll race you. <sighs> the rules of engagement have been established. I'm not going to go out and wreck the guy, but he, he's established that using the bumpers is fair play. Yeah, that's the 96 scheme actually that had the, uh, Red, blue, and gold swoosh. It's, um, what is it? Sam Bass. Shepard, do you, do, you, do you understand what the R. Mitch reference is? Have you seen that video? I'm going to have to send that to you. That's a little fun bit of NASCAR history there. So the backstory, but for those of you who don't know, behind the does your arm itch thing and why that's an inside joke for uh, NASCAR fans, it was Five to go. 2013, I believe, back when My Michael Waltrip Racing existed and back when Michael Waltrip Racing was actually competitive. Uh, come around in 22. Clint Boyer was driving for them, as was Martin Truex Jr. and Brian Vickers. I forget exactly what the point situation was, but basically, Boyer was into the chase, or which, what it was called the chase then, now the playoffs, different format. Um, but Boyer was in, and I forget, I think Truex was out and Gordon was in in front of Truex as they oh, were running under green. So, what happened was, was Vickers came in and pitted under green, I think, when it made no sense to give Truex a spot. And then they came over Clint Boyer's radio and said, hey man, how you feeling? Does your arm itch? He goes, oh yeah. And then just does a lazy spin down to the inside. Deliberately brings out a caution that re the, the okay, caution reshuffles things. Trex ends up getting in over Gordon. The fallout from that ended up that Michael Waltrip Racing ultimately closed down. Trex lost his ride with them. Boyer lost his ride with them as well, obviously. Um, the Napa sponsorship went to Chase Elliott. Missed my chance to get to the sevens bumper there because I'm talking too much. But yeah, that's where that's where that whole thing comes from. Definitely a uh, fun video to watch on YouTube. That whole saga and everything that happened there. So we're in a position where we can maybe get a top five if we really send it. Coming to the white flag this time. 22.689. Got to get to the bumper of these guys to have a shot at making that move. Did 
didn't work. <laughs> Sixth place, not too shabby. Made a call, went the wrong way. If I would have made the right call, it would have been top five. <laughs> nah, man, you know I don't race that way, Jerry. All right, man, you want to pull on that first one? Where are we going to make it, Earl? We're pulling in now. All right. Let's see if we can do a, a quick chrome horn recap here. Good racing, John. Yeah, good racing, guys. Congrats to the one on the win there. Good job, Drew. Tubsy got eighth. Nice. Wall contact there right on the start. Ball bound. Is that a... Uh, is that Wellborn there? Yeah, that's gonna be fun, man. So you guys that you watching this don't know, I'm gonna be uh, joining David Wellborn in the booth for the uh, Dynasty Racing League Winona Road Truck Series. Cool, man. Um, I'm gonna have to check Discord and see if you responded. But did, I was asking if, it, if do I need to, do I just need to show up and have Discord running, or do, is there any additional software that I need to run on my end? Yeah, Jacob, I'm going to be doing the uh, K&N race. Yeah, that old Terry Levano paint scheme's cool. What'd you do, Emperor J? I didn't notice anyone ruining large forces in that race. I thought that race was pretty good. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Guys, guys, guys. This is my record winces. Okay, I actually do have sim racing apps, so we'll uh, we'll sync up and figure out what to do. I'm assuming you're gonna be broadcasting, I'm just gonna be talking. Yeah, I'll probably live stream it on my end. It'll be a little bit different. Uh, yes, Clap Jr., you do get to make paint schemes. You need to use uh, tradingpaints.com to get your custom schemes in the game. But Yeah, awesome, man. Welcome. Yeah, 10-4, Wildbound. I'll hit you up, man. I'm gonna do one more race and then call it for a little while. <laughs> Ten four sniper marksman. I think everyone made the recap at some point. That's a cool looking car you got there, man. The 22 car. Oh, was that a blinker that took you out there? That looked weird. Uh, it's gonna be another one uh, here at IRP. Lucas Oil in the uh, K&N car, Jacob. Gotta do one for uh, Pooty18. He's donated 2,000 bits to get me to one run the Days of Thunder City Chevrolet scheme for a race. Yeah, the Extra Life uh, link there, that is still active through the end of the year. So, my marathon's not going anymore, but anyone who wants to chip in on that can still do that. Oh, man. 11 down into the 2. This is where we pitted and the 2 decided to stay out. Eight into the four.
Oh, he made the suit as well? Nice. Five car room, bringing it off. Five car with no hood. 10 into the eight there. Saved it in continuous. It's a fun little track. It is. These cars might be a little overpowered for it. They're definitely a handful on it, but it's fun. Rules never said you needed a hood. That's true. It's very true. That was not defined in the rules at all. <laughs> Number 10 broke paint scheme. Sliding up in front of the two. Robert Roche. We raced with him for so long. Ah, oh, there goes the Terry Labonte car. Ugh. There's my restart of doom on the on the older tires. Did not work out. Eight into the ten. Wow. Blinkers were real. Yeah, the number two had a heck of a adventurous race and still finished third. That's crazy. Just goes to show you that that aero damage doesn't really hurt you on short tracks much at all. Uh, it wasn't as bad. That's why I didn't overreact too much. That he was making an attempt to get down low and looked like it could have even been net code. Mellow Yellow, of course, like they're out there for sure, Clap Jr. They might not be on the cars that you're able to run right away, but um, definitely you can find those for uh, some of the cars. I just don't know if they've got them on the street stocks or not. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I've been trying to keep it more mellow, Shaben. Um, cool. So let's go ahead and save this out. Congrats to Drew on the win. Let's see if we can pull up the results real quick. And then close this video, and then we're going straight into the K&N race. Decent race. Not 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 my best, but decent. Uh, congrats to Drew on the win. We came away with six. That's worth 110 points and six I rating. So we're up to a 44.25 and gained a little bit of safety as well, 4.09. So thanks for watching. If you're watching this on the YouTube side, really appreciate you. If you like this, hit the like button. Click subscribe. Ring that notification bell. Head over to twitch.tv slash John underscore and A underscore Theodore. Click the big old heart to give me a follow to come join me on the next live stream. Thank you very much. Peace out.